Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. How to automate QBO or QuickBooks Online bank feeds for expenses versus fixed assets. So we're talking about a situation where oftentimes I'm going to use Best Buy as the example because Best Buy is a place where a lot of us might go to buy computer equipment, for example. But the question is, should we book that as an expense or should we book it as a fixed asset? And for most of us, I think it's fair to say from the times I've participated in discussions about you know, what the threshold is. I've seen some that have different thresholds, but it seems to be, for the most part, agreed that 500 is a good threshold. If we spend more than 500 on something, book it to fixed assets. If we spend less than 500, book it to an expense. So it occurred to me as I was working with a client recently who had downloaded a whole bunch of Best Buy transactions that I could actually automate the process for him. Let's take a look at my screen in QuickBooks Online and see what I'm talking about. Let's see what this looks like. So... We're over here in QuickBooks Online, and I've got an example here of what it might look like if I downloaded a bunch of Best Buy transactions, or if that's what I was down to in my feed or my queue. Now, of course, the description would have other language in here, but the one thing's for sure is that it's going to have the words Best Buy in here, and it's going to have the amount, right? So now we want to create a rule. So we're going to go to Manage Rules up here, and you're going to love this. Let's go New Rule. Okay, we'll call this Best Buy FA versus Expense, right? So when the bank text contains Best Buy, actually, we're going to call this Best Buy over 500. So this is going to be the rule that applies when it's over $500 and we want it to go to fixed assets. So first, when the bank text contains Best Buy, now we're going to add a line, and we're going to say when the amount is greater than 500 or you may want to do 499 that way anything if we spent exactly $500 it would get included right now the transaction type is going to be an expense the payee is going to be best buy right and it looks like I'll need to add that here real quick and you'll notice what I did with my um, categories my account list if I start typing computer equipment I have computer equipment over 500 as fixed assets, under 500 as expenses. So we're going to do over 500 as fixed assets. Never check this off, automatically add to my books. You always want the opportunity to review this stuff before it gets added into the register. But we'll save that one. And now we have to create one other rule called Best Buy Under 500. New rule, Best Buy Under 500 when the bank text contains Best Buy and the amount is less than 500. It's still going to be an expense. The pay is still going to be Best Buy, but now the category is going to be computer equipment under 500. One other important thing to note before you run is that we make sure up here it says when all of these conditions are met, because it can't just be that it's the text Best Buy. It has to also be less than 500. Otherwise, it's not going to know which rule to apply. So the conditions have to be have to meet all of the conditions, the text and the amount. And I'll click Save. And now let's go back over to Banking. And notice what it did. It automatically applied the rule, and it did it perfectly. Anything under 500 is going to go to computer equipment under 500. Anything over is going to computer equipment over. So now I go boom, accept. And of course, I only had to set that up once. And now for the rest of my life, whenever I download a transaction from Best Buy, QuickBooks Online is going to know exactly where to code it. The key to this is the fact that I could code rules based on not just the text, but also the amount. And I have my threshold in place as $500. Easy to create those rules, easy to save hours and hours of time. This is how you use bank feeds to get your job done more efficiently so you can free up more time to do stuff that's much more interesting for both you and your client. As always, I hope you learned something in here and had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.